So with so much distraction that is happening around our work and study days, it's important to keep focused. So we've highlighted 10 focus applications in 2021 that might be useful to help you keep streamlined and on task whilst you're at work or you're revising, studying or planning ahead. Today's video is sponsored by Pipedrive. They're a powerful sales CRM and here's a little bit more about them before we dive in. No matter how much experience you have selling your product, Pipedrive will make it easier, bringing you better, more engaged leads 24 seven so you can focus on the right people at the right time and convert them to deals in your sales pipelines, which can be fully customized to visualize your process. Every call and email are automatically tracked, and say goodbye to repetitive tasks like sending routine follow-up emails. Workflow automation can do it all, which frees up time to gather insights and measure performance against set goals, no matter where you are. Pipedrive, designed to keep you selling. So I've got a list of 10 that I've picked out that I think are pretty exciting applications that do a range of different abilities. I'm going to have them time stamped and listed below if you want to jump in. Really exciting news in the secret, probably not at the time this video is launched, but maybe in a few months, we're launching our own focus app. You can check it out in the description below. It is gonna be exciting. Um, there'll be more about that below. So the first one on our list is an app called Forest. Now this is perfect, not just for people who are studying, but people who want to follow a strict timer routine. So for example, if they want to maybe remove their phone from the situation for 30 minutes, then what you can do is start a timer on Forest and uh, you flip your phone. If you exit your phone, for example, to go onto another application, your tree that you've been growing in that timer dies. And the goal is to build a forest as per the name of the application. It's a really fun, gorgeous looking application and you can keep track of your forest at any time. So it's a really interactive application. And for those who are looking to set a timer and keep on task, it's quite motivational because you uh, can see how much progress you're making and uh, avoid getting those phone distractions. So next up is an app again, that's available on Android and iOS. It's called Tide and it's a range, well, it does a few things actually. It does uh, sound animation. So for example, if you want some background um, sound environments to focus or study to, they do that. Uh, it allows you to meditate and also set some timers as well. So it's this sort of focus buddy as you go across your day and it allows you to do uh, a range of different things. I think a lot of people like the white noise application inside of the app, allowing you to get white noise in the background. Some people find that really effective to study to or even just to stay on task. So I'll include the link to Tide below. Number three is quite a fun app application. It's called Study Bunny and it's a more gamified productivity app and essentially you get a study bunny to look after. Um, it's really designed more for those who are revising, studying and trying to stay on task but basically it's like a Tamagotchi for your productivity. So you can you know dress your bunny up, uh, earn rewards but also try and stay on task by staying on task on certain uh, activities and certain projects and certain uh, categories and you can see statistics of how well you stay on task for all of those. And as you earn, you can start customizing your experience and keeping your bunny all fed and well and ready. It's quite a fun approach to the productivity application. Number four is an app called Balance. Now you can get a year's free balance if you're a new user. This is only just available on Android, but it's been on iOS for a fair bit of time now. And it's an application that does meditation. Now this meditation application is beautiful. It's really well designed and uh, it comes with something called Meditation Insights. So as each time you do a meditation, basically it learns about you through a series of short questionnaires at the start of every meditation, really non-intrusive and it helps to improve the way that meditation coach speaks to you. And it's really weird because it's sort of like having a AI do your meditation. I listened to, I think it's Otufu, um, I'm going to get his name wrong, who does the meditation. But when you get to know that voice, it actually it is really effective meditation. And they do a range of ones, including like foundational ones to specific environments and scenarios. And even this new like sound experience one where, for example, it takes you on a journey 
uh, like a five to 10 minute meditation. And you can hold your phone and it will do things like uh, vibrate when they experience like fire around you. Uh, it sounds a bit scary, but it's actually really cool. And it's a really cool uh, take on meditation. So number five is Endul. Endul is an app I've been using for probably about two months now. And I really like the application because what it does is it does AI soundscapes. And you're probably wondering, what does that mean? Well, basically this app has about six different modes that when you set, it uses AI to basically predict, you know, your circadian rhythm, your uh, environment, the location you're in, and lots of different factors based around science that basically helps to create a soundtrack to help you focus, relax, sleep. And I particularly enjoy the deeper focus one more recently. That has been quite good, especially being in a coffee shop. So this actually allows me to keep on track because it's like really nice uh, low tones. And I normally listen to a lot of like logic and that's quite, um, you know, melodic but also has vocals in it, whereas this has instrumental only. But it's a bank application backed by science, and it's got a lot of credibility in the space as potentially the new application to help you stay focused and uh, on task at work. So next up is number six is Freedom. This is designed to help you stop distractions by blocking internet sources, and you can do this across all of your devices. They always are offering a discount, so I'll include the link below to that. But Freedom basically tries to help you to reduce those distractions. So if you're writing an essay or you're writing an important report or a PowerPoint, then this helps you to do that um, just by reducing and stopping completely any distractions on your phone or on your devices. Number seven is Session. This is a gorgeously designed Mac application that is also available on iOS and available through Setapp. That is stunning. It's a Pomodoro timer that basically is really well designed and comes with detailed analytics. It does have a, I believe, $30 per year pricing. But to be honest, if you're someone that likes to use timers and you want a really detailed one, this does great note taking and, and um, being able to monitor your productivity as you go through timers uh, really well. Number eight is Brain FM. And similar to Endel, it allows you to create sound backgrounds for your work. Brain FM does do a couple of soundscapes much like Endel, but I wouldn't say as detailed. It focuses more on soundscapes like coffee shops and situations like being in the open air, things like that. For people who use, uh, you know, a more realistic sound environments, I think uh, Brain FM is a great application for that. Number nine is Opal. Now, Opal is a really uh, interesting application. It uses your VPN on your phone to attempt to block out, you know, use of internet. So for example, you go into the application, you might set an intention like, okay, I'm going to use my phone to check photos to create a gallery for my friends to send on, or I'm going to use X application to do this bit of work for 15 minutes. It's trying to make your uh, use of certain applications very intentional. It's a fairly new application, so I'm still checking it out, but it's definitely designed and uh, really focused to try and get you focusing. Number 10 is Focus Keeper. This is a really solid Pomodoro application, allows you to set timers and follow the Pomodoro methodology in the background to help you stay in sessions and on task. Anyway guys, those were 10 applications that you can use for focus. Let me know what you think uh, in the description below or in the comments below, uh, whether you have any recommendations, I'd honestly love to hear. But folks, thank you very much. Make sure you're subscribed here to keep productive and I'll talk to you all very soon. Cheerio.